let's hang out. This tea though, look at this tea. It's white tea, rose, chamomile, apple, mint, butterfly flower, elderberries, and blue corn flower. Thank you. Witchwood Tea House. And I added my own calendula leaves. That's all the yellow that you see in there from my garden. I made this really cool color. Okay, first things first, let's take out the trash. Let's take out the compost. I should say, this is the first time I'm taking out the trash in a really long time. Usually Matt does it, so I'm gonna oh. give Matt his flowers. <laughs> I got a new bumper sticker. Shout out to you, Isabella. You were made by a woman. And I used to be against bumper stickers, but recently I've given up on the aesthetic of my car, so I'm just gonna put another sticker on my car. I already have this sticker I put on there recently. It's a Taino sun god. Shout out to all the Boricuas watching. We will remind everyone that yes, a man put sperm in your mother, but your mother did the growing, okay? She used all of her life force and 10% of her mineral storage to make you. So how about you call her and say thank you? All right, this is the evidence of why I have been banned from buying potatoes for a little bit until I can prove that I'm gonna use them. <laughs> because it's the second time I've bought some organic russet potatoes and they just sat in the house and got all moldy and full of roots. So I'm gonna plant them and we'll get more potatoes out of that. And here's the indoor composter that sits in our kitchen. I'm gonna dump it out. Herbs from tea and oranges and eggshells, banana peels, all the good stuff. Come check this out. Look at all of that delicious black dirt that used to just be a bunch of food waste, just like what's on the top. And now it's black and delicious and it gets turned all the time by Matt and we can put it in the garden next spring and it'll be so good for the plants look at this druggie he's getting so excited about me letting him in the garden <laughs> so that he can get on the catnip and roll around in it like a druggie there he goes straight to the catnip his favorite plant of all time while we're here let's look at the garden look at those marigolds Gorgeous. Wormwood popping off. I've got to harvest some. That way she feels motivated to keep producing. I was gonna move these moonflowers to the deck and I never did, but it looks like they're getting ready to start their first blooms. They're so gorgeous. They are a part of the Datura family, if you know about Daturas. Because I'm a psychedelic queen, many of you know that I run psilocybin ceremonies. I've done them in several different countries and it's really a big passionate part of the work that I do is helping people decompose the things in their lives that they, need, that they need to decompose with the sacred decomposers with mushrooms. I love psychedelics in every way and the work that they do for us as humans and these queens right here are actually sort of a psychedelic. Moonflowers will take you on a very long journey. You don't want to do it. I've never done it, but I got seeds because I just wanted to commune with them and touch them and like talk to them as a plant on this world that does manipulate the human mind in the way that it does. I've heard it's like a 48 to 72 hour journey. Not interested. <laughs> what are you doing? Coming to look at the garden? Yeah, let's look. What's your favorite part of the garden? 
That's like the flowers. Those flowers? Yeah. They're so beautiful. Navajo tea is popping off. I should harvest some of this to make some tea with it. Is mugwort a wonderful herb for dream recolle recollection and psychic abilities? His favorite spot. This turmeric and ginger is still doing its thing. It looks a little stressed out, but it is growing. Let's pull this out to give it to the chickens. Old cabbage. Rumi just caught a cicada out of the air. It's like playing dead now. Here it is. It's a big bug. Let me put some, let me put some dirt on it so it can be safe. Rumi, leave it alone. Be careful. Be careful? Yeah. I know I don't want it to bite me. No, those don't bite. Why are you trying? Where's it going? Maybe it wants to go back to its family. It can't make it. So how is it trying to get back to its family? It's going to have to fly away. Mullen popping off. Gorgeous. Actually, this mullen plant has been here for two years, but it's gotten so heavy, it's fallen out. Oh, I gotta give it some supports. Nettle's coming back after a huge harvest I did. Harvested it all the way down to the root. Motherwort as well. Look at these tomatoes, delicious. These are actually yellow tomatoes, babe. Oh, you got them, wow. This is what happens when you neglect the garden and just let the tomato plant bush out like it naturally does instead of actually support it. The way I usually do, folks, I've been a slacking gardener this year. Something growing here. Pepper. Ooh, orange! Oh, wow! Orange! Yeah, it's a tomato. It's an orange. It's an orange tomato. Yeah. And I found a red one last day. Yeah. Do you want to taste the one Dada has? Look, he picked a lot of them. Oh, can I pick flower? Well, let's go look at it. Dada, look at that pink flower. Wow, it's so healthy, too. Yeah. This is called a zinnia. Gorgeous. Can you say zinnia? Yeah. Zinnia. Zinnia. And here is the corn. I don't have luck with corn ever. I always make these little bitty baby corns. They're so small, but they're in there. I'm gonna leave them for a little bit longer. You can see, at least they got pollinated because each plant does have a little corn on it. This one's pretty big. It's in there. Yeah, let's taste it. But no, I don't know what it tastes like. So, oh, this wow. one's good. Flower beds looking great. I didn't plant any of these this year. They just came up from last year. Some beautiful zinnias. Whoever this gorgeous baby is. Looks like a form of echinacea. These are echinaceas. I actually should harvest these to make some medicine with because there are a lot of them. Some delicious tea. Look at that little pollinator doing its thing. The hummingbirds love those because they have such strong, big centers. More echinacea. All of these dahlias that come back from the inner tubers every year. And this anise has just been popping off. There's always like 20 bees on it. Loving it up. Mm. Yummy! I don't know what's up with this cicada. It only has half of its body, but it's still alive. I'm doing this the lazy way. That's all I'm doing. And potato plants will grow. Here, you right in there? Especially when you don't have good nutrients in your body, which is the soil. That pot has been there for years, you know?
I'm teaching an online breathwork class this Sunday. So if you want to join me, I highly recommend that you join at the link in the bio. I'll be teaching you some practices to help your body let go of the things that your body holds on to, which are all of your past experiences, your traumas, things that you don't even realize are stored in your body need to come out through the manipulation of energy work, of breath work, of moving that energy through your energy meridians, through your chakras, to sit live with me on Zoom and learn some very powerful practices to turn over a new page, turn over a new leaf, start that new chapter, elevate to the next frequency that you wanna continue operating in your life. Breath work is so powerful. I love to incorporate breath work into anything that I possibly can, especially taking the time out of the day to actually sit down and intentionally manipulate the breath. The breath is the first thing that we do when we enter this life, and it's the last thing that we do. It can quite possibly change the course of your life, of the path that you walk, by learning how to manipulate it and to use it to your advantage and to use it to alter the subconscious mind, which is oftentimes a hard task for modern day humans. Our subconscious minds are running on autopilot and almost running the show and calling all the shots. And there's a really powerful hack to life when we can use our brains for us and not let our brains use us. <laughs> Going back to breath work a lot because I have noticed myself get a little like shaken up easily with anxiety and with burnout and with sleep especially. Sleep has been, my sleep has not been so great waking up at different times or maybe taking a long time to fall asleep. So that leads me beautifully into today's sponsor, which is the Aura Health app. Aura Health is an all-in-one app for your well-being and sleep. It's really cool. It's got thousands of meditations, stories, soundscapes, sound baths, life coaches, CBT, spirituality, and of course, breath work. It really does set the bar for health apps for me, and it truly is one of a kind, having been created by hundreds of different experts and coaches and therapists from around the world. Okay, so my daughter's name is Aura. There is a huge pull to it from the beginning, but I promise you, it's very different from normal meditation apps that I've used. It's got so much variety. I love that it has stories on there whenever I wanna just escape from the world and I don't need to scroll or watch a show. I can listen to a story that pulls me in and calms my mind. They've got hypnosis on there. Some of my favorite hypnosis ones to listen to are the nap one by Jason Wilde. It's a nap hypnosis, power nap. It's really cool because naps are something that are hard for me to get to because I feel like I don't fall asleep fast enough and then like my time that I set aside for the nap is, is ruined. But with the hypnosis, I could like really fall into the vibe of it. So there is a hypnosis by Dr. Liz Slanena. That's one of my top three as well. It's a manifest your goals hypnosis. It just puts you into that secondary state of consciousness where you can really get in there and reprogram some stuff. There's ASMR, the sound baths, the soundscapes are amazing. I love a good thunderstorm. I love a good ocean wave. There's a soundscape on there that's ocean wave with frequencies. So that's really cool because you actually are tickling the frequencies in your body when you listen to certain frequencies and talk about improving my sleep just using some of these frequencies using some of the soundscapes especially will send me immediately into that zone that i need quiet my mind and it's helped me so much and what's really cool is they have kids stuff on there so aura likes listening to some of the stories and listening to some of the different soundscapes and things that are targeted towards children i love it another cherry on top that stuck out to me was the personalization it asked me a lot of different questions to understand exactly what I'm needing in my body, mind, and soul. And it makes recommendations for me every single day, certain times of the days that I choose that work best for me. So when I get that nudge, I know I've already programmed it and it's already programmed for me to work for what I need at that time. So thank you to Aura for supporting me on my journey of well-being and my journey of restored sleep and helping me as a mama of a toddler to recover and keep moving through burnout and stress. You can get started with Aura 2 and save 25% off when you visit my link that's below in the description. Thanks again, Aura. All right, back to the video. Okay, how do I look? 
I rented this super fancy camera from Lens Pro to Go. I'll leave a link below if you are interested in that. It's like a $5,000 camera, probably more, but it takes the sexiest pictures. And I'm needing to take new product photos of all of my goods. Lady Organica. Lady Organica. I'm even taking pictures of the cute little mints that I got logoed that go out in every order. But really, the medicine is what is needing to have new photos. Look how cute these labels are. Mullen flower essence, foxglove flower essence, magnolia flower essence, and all of them together. They look so pretty. I started a new Instagram that's just for my shop called Shop Lady Organica because the Valady Organica Instagram is flooded with all things personal life and travels and psychedelic work and breath work and all of the things that I share with the world. And I wanted a place for my shop and my products to, to be showcased on their own so I can talk about just them in that area and my herbalism work. So Shop Valady Organica is up. Please go follow that little Instagram that is slowly growing. Now I'm gonna have some really nice pictures to post on the website of my products and my new labels and something for that new Instagram as well. Shop Valady Organica, follow me on Instagram. I made myself look beautiful because I'm gonna include myself in a few shots. You can do the, the cliche influencer laugh. <laughs> There's a lot of poison ivy around here, but this mossy rock is so perfect. It's going to look gorgeous, so I'm about to I'm about to risk it. Fresh peach ice cream. <laughs> We're in Jacksonville, Florida, having family vacation. Say hi, Laura. Hi. <laughs> Check out this dinner we're making. Ooh, spicy sausage, broccoli. We're about to drop the noodles in. Love these big ones. Or it's got a nice pizza going. Oh yeah, just wait. Delicious vodka sauce. Bam, bam. Ooh, dog. Look at that. The cheese is so stringy. It's connecting the bowls, baby. Time to eat.
Hello and good rising from the homestead. We're back. This is, I'm pretty sure, a baby rooster. He's a youngin, but he's looking pretty masculine these days. One of Pancake's babies. I'm gonna let him go. He's complaining. Bye bye. I gotta do some orders. My allergies have been going nuts. Absolutely insane since being back. I think it's a mixture of being outside and inside. We have some suspicions about our house just being like so old. I ordered an air testing kit for the house just to make sure we don't have like mold. I'm finally opening up this fancy smancy air doctor because not sponsored because <clears throat> i ordered three of them for the house they're said to be the best air filters on the market and i've seen a lot of functional medicine practitioners and doctors online and on instagram promote them and speak really highly of them so i got a huge one for the living room a medium-sized one for upstairs and this smaller model here in the office a lot of dust comes through here with so much like packaging and boxes with herbs and a lot of processing that happens in here. There's always a lot of dust. So I'm hoping this helps right now. Why is this one? Wait. Wait. It was really cool turning the one on upstairs where it gets really dusty in the loft space because it has a air like meter so let's see it's red right now so that means that the it's the air quality is not so great it always starts off as red oh it went to yellow immediately so that's good when when i turned the one on upstairs it was red for a hot second <laughs> and then yellow for a while and then it turned blue meaning it has a good condition so this one just went from yellow to blue pretty quickly which means it's not bad in here which i kind of wanted it to say that it was bad because my allergies have been going nuts but whatever i'm gonna let it do its thing in here and hopefully it'll help me as i do some orders firefly butterfly <laughs> okay you cheated a little bit but all right i'll let you get that you go again turtle Actually, no, it's not because I just pulled it out. That's a monkey. My mom gave us a gift card to Olive Garden, so we're in Olive Garden. I can't remember the last time I've been in Olive Garden, but we're gonna eat this free food. Calamari! Cucumber, cucumber! I'm coming! <laughs> He's trying to multitask playing some zombie game. I can spank both of you at the same time. Oh, it's, it's, it's done. Yo. Can see. <laughs> He's running. 